are the hustle couple. <sighs> yeah, we're hustling. Man, it's been it's it's busy. It's late. We're cutting it close really again. really close. It's um, okay. Yeah. So it's another what did we even say what it was? It's a what's old Sunday on a Monday. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's Oof. still Monday. It's still Monday. We got a case of the Mondays. It's been a long day, but uh, we've been doing stuff. We've been house shopping. Shh. We might be coming at you from a new location sometime soon. Fingers crossed. Um, let's dive right in. We okay. had We had a pretty slow sales week because of all the other stuff going on. Um, we did sell this pair of J Brand boyfriend jeans on I would Poshmark like to tell for thirty dollars. Okay, right. What would you like to tell the people? Thirty dollars. Yeah. Here's what your sales look like if you don't put in work. So we weren't gonna film a video. They were like, no, we have eighty-seven people. Seven. Eighty-seven. 87. And we we're like, well, they need to see it. But I think there's some value into knowing what happens when you don't do jack. Right. We didn't do anything. Nothing. Not share. Not I mean, we have a virtual assistant. She shares three times a day. What's up, Brittany? But that's it. Yep. No listing. No mm -hmm. sharing. No following. No offering. No nothing. 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 Because sometimes other things are more important in your life. Right. And what do we have to show for it? Almost nothing. Nothing. But so. look, okay. So somebody likes these jeans. They've been listed for a long time, and they bought them. Yep. Thirty yep. bucks. They bought them for thirty bucks. Speaking of other things that have been sitting in our closet forever, these Acris Punto uh, cropped pants sold for forty-five. These were really expensive pants. They yes. should have gone for like eighty or ninety. Yep. However, they had a scallop detail. Mm -hmm. I could not show it in a picture. Yes, I could have put my leg in it and showed it because it needed some like skin behind it. Or but we could have got the fake legs. It flags. <laughs> <laughs> I see those on Facebook, Ugh. but. I, I never got around to retaking the photos. Yeah. So when the the offer finally came in, I was like, we're never going to retake those photos. No, might as well just sell them. It's not a bad brand, though. Still pick it up, you guys. Yeah, not if, a bad if brand. Yeah, if you see it, pick it up. They're, they're worth These they're just worth look something. like blah, black pants in the picture. Right. But they were cute. Uh, we sold another uh, of our Speedo swimsuits, the yeah. One Piece Navy, small. They're coming through. $13. Yes. Yes. We paid, like, nothing for these. Yeah, they were half price at the thrift. All new with tags. Great, great stuff. Great and we're fun. happy to get them out before summer's over. Um, Is it still summer? Barely, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then the last sale of the week for Poshmark <laughs> <laughs> was uh, the Corks Ease wedge sandals for 25 bucks. Those are worth more as well. Yep. Uh, the photos were bad. So these were a blush pink color. Yeah. But the photos, they look like milky tan doo doo. Not good. It was not good. We couldn't capture the pink in them. We've learned a lot about taking photos of shoes since then. Mm -hmm. And we just never got around to retaking the photos. No. But, hey. Speaking of shoes, we're going to stay on shoes. Okay. But we're going to move over to eBay. We had a... You mean eBay? Like B-A-E? Oh. Uh, eBay's... Oh, you guys, we have stories about eBay. we got to tell you. Okay. Right. So, it like, also, we didn't do any listing or anything. And no. It, it definitely showed. Because we only made, technically, only one sale last week on ebay can we talk about what happened on ebay we had a thing i'm what? gonna tell the people go for it so we've never had this happen and other people on youtube have and i'm always like ah oh, so judgy in my head like how they <laughs> let that happen we couldn't find an item oh, man, not find once but twice this week we are slipping and i'm here on the internet for accountability <laughs> We've been house shopping, and it's taken everything out of us. Yeah. So we lost two things. And we're very... If you look at our Instagram, you can see pictures of our inventory. We're meticulous. It, we don't lose things. Yeah, she set it up, and it's all beautiful, and... Yeah. We just don't lose things. No. We don't know what happened to... Uh, well, one was a shirt is just vanished. Patagonia it, a shirt Patagonia just disappeared. And that was a good offer. And the other was a Nike pair of shorts that we sold on Poshmark and definitely took down via Vendu on all the platforms and it still was on eBay. Yeah. So it happens. Even <laughs> if you think you're above it, you're not. We learned a really hard lesson this week. Yeah. So I mean maybe that hurt us also that we had to cancel two sales yeah. and refund people. But and we tore our house apart. Yeah, I would looking for that shirt. I'm still upset shirt. about it. <laughs> Where it, did it go? It's gonna turn up. You you just watch. Anyway. Keep watching our YouTube. If you like this, please like and subscribe <laughs> and maybe the Patagonia shirt will reappear. Magically, right? 
That'd be great. So uh, we finally sold this pair of really cool Puma uh, McQueen uh, high tops. They were like this really cool sparkly metallic green and black. You found them at the thrift, right, in D.C. Nah, no, 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 no. It was here at Thrift Giant. Oh. The one we were just at yesterday. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Yep. They were like brand new. Remember the lady was like, are you sure you want to spend $30 on these? Yeah. And they said Alexander McQueen and they were brand new. I was like, Mm -hmm. "Uh uh-huh. Yeah. Yep, I do. And they sold for $70. Why don't you tell the people all the story of these shoes? I'm going to tell it wrong because I thought you got them in DC. Oh, not where we got them, but like the offers we've received in the past. Oh, they were terrible. I mean, we had them listed. I think we had them listed for $100. Mm-hmm. And every offer that came in was like 30 bucks. 15 15 bucks, And we were like... One guy got really hostile with us about that. <laughs> it's like a hostile offer. Yeah. He's like, take my offer. Oh, no. No. <laughs> I counter offered him a couple of times and he was just like... He was me. And he sent me, he sent some message and was like, I was going to buy them because we had another <laughs> offer on like another platform. So I took them down because I thought we sold them somewhere else. And he was like, oh man, I was going to buy them. Okay. I'm sure you were. Okay. Uh, so hold <laughs> out for the right buyer. We could have held out longer for these because yeah. when we bought them, they were still for sale. On Amazon. Yeah. And you could get them for 50 on yeah. Amazon. But now, and they were a very small size. Uh, they were eight or something. 10. Oh no, no, I'm wrong. Yeah. They were 10. But they were still for sale on Amazon. Yeah. So we kind of waited out that. Mm-hmm. They stopped being for sale on Amazon, and now we sold them because we hadn't made any sales all week. But we probably could have gotten more. Yeah. So um, just hold out, guys. You can do it. Yeah. It's so hard. Because we had virtually zero sales, we're going to throw in. We made two sales today on eBay, luckily. So it sold on a Monday, and what the hell? We'll tell you guys about them, right? What the hell? Sure. One was this what is it helene helene berman mm-hmm. floral print dress sold for 15 dollars. i bought that for 15 cents perfect that is a hell of a return we have had it for a very long time <laughs> yeah it was like skew number 100 something yes. don't you love when you guys don't you love when you sell those really low numbers so satisfying and then we sold a bolo should we tell the people about the bolos i think so i mean it's not poshmark Really? It's more eBay. Yeah, this is an eBay thing because it's definitely not clothing. But no one does videos but... on this. We're gonna do videos on it for you guys because we think it's Are you ready? You're you're never you're not gonna believe it. What Show is the that? People. It's perfect pinch. It's McCormick's perfect pinch. The salt free southwest. Okay. Alright. So what, what's a bolo? Tell the people what a bolo is. If you don't know what bolo stands for, it stands for be on the lookout. Uh-huh. And what's a bolo product? Because uh, we have bolo brands and Poshmark, but on the eBay side... Yeah. A bolo product is something that is a popular product that people love that has, for one reason or another, been mysteriously discontinued by the manufacturer. Yes. And so we, and let us know if you want to see more videos about this. We plan on doing a couple. Yeah. But if you want to see a lot of videos, uh, you can check out our Instagram. We do Insta stories when we're outsourcing. Mm -hmm. And I've put up some charts on Bolo brands that you can be looking for. If you're at like a Big Lots or an Ollie's or a Dirt Cheap or any of those kind of wholesale Mm -hmm. aftermarket. Clear out stores. Clear out, that's right. And uh, if the things we look for, because they're not always out there, because people don't want to tell you yeah. they're bolos, because then you flood their market, and then you can't make money. So we're going to give you some as we go. Like, if we find 10 in a weekend, we've been doing it quite a bit, yep. we'll give you, like, three or four of them, so sure. you can go find them. I mean, the market's big enough. It's we don't big have enough to be for all of us. So what so we look for... Tell, tell, tell everybody about the perfect pinch. So there's an eBay, there's a camera... Okay. Yeah, you can go to eBay and search for anything. You can hit you can the camera. Show them the little, so you just scan the barcode just, with your phone. Mm. So if you've ever been at a store and people are scanning stuff with their phone, this is what they're doing. Yes. They're scanning it, and then you're looking at the eBay listings, and you're waiting to see something with, like this. You would expect like five dollars, right? Well, sure, because the retail price on something with that is like two seventy nine right. or a dollar, right? Eight, whatever. So you're just like, oh, that's not a good one, and then. Because it doesn't say discontinued, but we're like, somebody loves this. And so we scan it, and it says like five. Pack of three sold for 20, I'm sorry, $30. Pack of three for, th- these are going for 10 each, and we're buying them for a dollar something. So it's little 
increments, but when you start to add them up... I'm sorry, bought for $2 and sold for 10 is more than just a little increment. That's a pretty good return. But compared to Poshmark, maybe right. eight bucks at a time yeah. seems little, but I'm trying to tell the people, you can make a lot of money doing yeah. this. Because there is like some sellers, for example, on eBay with this, I don't think it was this product necessarily, but something like that. They were selling lots of three or five or whatever, and it said under quantity sold, 58. They have <laughs> sold 58 lots of these. So we bought everything they had in the store, and then we went to the other store, and we bought everything they had. Because this is discontinued, and some people love it. And people thought we were crazy. The they think we're, were crazy. Like, How many of these do you have? And you, know, <laughs> you want to know something crazier? Since we've been so busy, and we wanted to see if these would sell. We listed them while we were in the store. <laughs> yeah, we listed them on eBay before we even checked out. And by the time we, it was very early the next morning, we had already sold a three yeah. pack of the Perfect Finch. So that's a cool thing because you don't have to look up, you just look up comps on eBay, you say sell similar. And I it, know some of you have asked us to do eBay videos and we should, yeah. we will. Uh, sell similar so that it fills in the listing for you and you just get a shelf space with some good light. And <laughs> That's what we did. We shot the picture right there in the store. In less than 12 whatever. hours, we sold three of them already. Yeah, one lot of three for 25 bucks. Cha-ching. Yes. So I think this weekend we went out bolo hunting mm -hmm. uh, twice and we went to a t total of three stores. Yep. And we probably bought about five different SKUs. Yeah, we're going to try out some stuff. Yeah. And we'll let you know how it goes. We're going to let you know. If you we'll, want to we'll, see... We'll roll them in on the What's Sold Sundays because, I mean, it's stuff that sold. So. so keep checking our What's Sold Sundays because these are things you can go pick up and sell very quickly to supplement. Even if you right. love selling clothes like we do. I mean, I don't care about this, but I care about $8 profit. profit. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, times three or whatever it yeah. is. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with us tonight. Hopefully we get this up before midnight. We got a deadline. I'm going to try. I'm going to try real fast. We appreciate all your support. Check us out on Instagram. Like this video if you liked it and you want to see more. And as always, subscribe. Yep. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.